Ahoy there, Legion! Update 18 has added several shiny additions, one of which being what is softly coined as Exilus or even Drift mods. These guys are somewhat of a mix between Corrupted and Nightmare mods, where they take some effort to hunt down in a Void-like setting, but offer two positive stats. These are mostly utility, hence fitting the Exilus mod slot on your Warframe, but can provide direct offensive or defensive stats as well. They are all of rare rank, some more than others, but you probably care about where they drop and how to get them more than anything. Then. Let's start with the where. Take a look-see at Earth, and you might notice some of the missions look a bit different. You'll have a mobile defense, a crossfire, and a survival, all with the brand spanking new moon tile set. Here is where our quarry lies, as they can only spawn in vault-like puzzle rooms you need to solve. Somewhat out of the scope of this guide are sentience. No matter where you go on the moon tile set, these are enemies you're going to have to face eventually. I would avoid the moon defense option, as they automatically show up the moment you interact with the first objective and they have a tendency of melting said objective. Instead, in grouped games, aim for crossfire. It's simple, and a lot less can go wrong. You can even wipe out everything and head on back to the puzzle rooms you passed by during the purge. Now, I've ended up collecting quite a few of these mods, but currently, the speed variant has eluded me. To try and coax it out, I chose to run solo on Plato Survival to cover as much ground as quickly as possible. You can do this as well, but be prepared for constant Corpus Moa spawns. You can even Dodge the sentience entirely by biding your time at the start of the level, kill for your oxygen needs for a few minutes, then top it off with a life support and rush the level to see what puzzles spawn for you. Even if the Oculus do spot you, extraction will already be unlocked and waiting. Again, doing it in crossfire groups is a much better option, but doing this solo can at least snatch you a few to get started. Okay, we know where, now what about that how? This changes depending on what spawns for your legion. As I said, the speed room seems to be very rare while I have six to eight or so of the rest. Each puzzle room will grant you the same reward and it does not change, so the stealth room can only give you a stealth mod. There are seven of these things, and I like to keep things short for you, so I hope you allow me to trim these directions down a wee bit. Endurance. Trigger it by jumping on this tilt-a-whirl of destruction and stand on the middle platform. This is more designed for a group setting, but if you do this solo, you're gonna need many, many health and shield restores to do so. In a group, you're gonna wanna block as much laser fire as possible. Take out the shaky chandelier Phantom of the Opera style, stand near the rising platforms to block those, and shoot laser discs up on top, as well as the back of the ones spinning around the middle target. They do reactivate after a short while, so keep at the ready. If your shields and health are just going down too fast, you can jump out and have another player tag in. If the middle platform dies before the event is complete, you don't get anything. But survive the rotisserie onslaught for a little more than two minutes, and the mod is yours. Agility. Great Hey googly moogly legion, this one's frustrating. Though I break down the steps here quickly, understand many hit detection and other issues are abound here. So if it seems much more difficult to pull off in-game than it sounds here, you're absolutely correct. Shoot this glowing faceplate and jump into this tube. Inch down into it, bullet jump out of this, and shoot this plate and land over here. Now jump up again, shoot this plate, Catch your breath, jump out here and shoot both of these plates here. Jump out, shoot the plates above on the terrace. Might have to jump from one of the tubes to light up the second one. When the final, tallest pipe is lit up, bullet jump out from it and aim your darndest at the center of the ceiling. If all goes well, you'll make it up and in. If not, well, do it all again from scratch. And this one's a one at a time deal, unless you got a teleport or a very good warp, one tenno at a time, so have fun. Stealth. The stealth puzzle room has this glowing yellow button at the front. Hit the button, avoid the blue lines or you're going to be spotted, and avoid the yellow lines or you're going to get fried. Make it to the back of the room, hit that button here, and it'll fade away into a portal. Energy suckers. Another easy one. The chrome orbs in the wall drain your energy. Fill up each ball in a short amount of time and unlock the staircase. Another easy peasy, trick the eyeball into firing at you and make it destroy the bits in each pillar. Just need to shoot out this stuff to trigger the waterfall first. Because it prefers dry eyes, I guess. Coordination! This one's gonna require a full group, or at the very least two using some snazzy focus lenses. I'll leave the details on how that works, but one person has to activate a glowing seal, which causes plates to fly around the room poltergeist style. When complete, another player has to stand on whatever platform lights up next. You have to do this about six different times, some glowing in the rocky cave areas, and even a second layer of sneakiness. You have to go under that cave layer and activate a second button too. Do that for all four corners of the room, and the lower middle section unlocks. 
Climb on up. Everyone jump on their corner. Wait for the gates to completely open. And jump on up through the portal and claim that reward. Now there is one last speed challenge that has so far refused to spawn for me. I know what it looks like and I ran through it during the quest, but I didn't know about puzzle rooms then and the storyline had me a bit worried about other things at the time. If you see a long hallway with two void knockdown traps, you found it. Look above those traps and shoot the glowing plate. Then it turns into a void obstacle course you've pretty much seen before. Stand on the button that shows up, run through it and activate a second button, do it again, only now it's full of slowing traps and the doors are slowly closing Indiana Jones style, and claim your reward. Or don't, because it's super hard, and the game refuses to spawn it for you in the first place. If you're lucky enough to get it and fail, now you gotta wait another 50 or so runs to find it. Such is the way of Warframe. Fate and RNG is our harsh mistress. Which is kinda nice, actually. They normally charge extra for that sort of thing. Thank you for watching, Legion. If this guide helped you out or put a smile on your face, we'd be honored if you'd like, favorite, and share this video with your fellow Tenno. We always appreciate it when he does. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Catch you next time, Legion. Take care.